Columnist Daniela Elsa claimed the firm may be starting to panic over what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will do next after the pair sparked speculation of a second Oprah Winfrey interview when they were seen visiting the U.S. talk show host recently. Ms. Elsa highlighted how a senior royal source was quoted as gushing over Prince Charles' recent meeting with Lilibet. Meanwhile, another source praised Harry and Meghan for becoming financially independent in the wake of Megsy during a briefing on Clarence House's annual review. Writing for news.com.au, Ms. Elsa said, Still, it's hard not to wonder if this damage control is too little too late. Feelings would seem to have been hurt badly. Harry has books to sell and the duo has a streaming giant bleeding hundreds of billions to keep sweet. For now, it's a watching brief but with all of the opportunities in the near future for the Duke and Duchess to indulge in the penchant for truth-telling and journey sharing, are a few warm words here and they're really going to be enough to prevent them from coming for another prime time pasting? 1037 Harry dragged around like performing seal since meeting Meghan Prince Harry has been dragged around like a performing seal since meeting Meghan Markle, a royal expert has played. Royal author Ingrid Seward claimed Harry is totally mesmerized by Meghan and would follow her to the ends of the earth. Ms. Seward said, he's obsessed. H is being dragged around like a royal performing seal. And Meghan has got to hang on to Harry because he's her entree. What is she otherwise, but a starlet? 1002 Harry and Meghan raised eyebrows with solo procession Prince Harry and Meghan Markle raised eyebrows with their solo procession at the Platinum Jubilee service of Thanksgiving, it has been claimed. All eyes were on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they made a solo procession, holding each other's hands, down the nave of St. Paul's Cathedral after the rest of the mass of more than 40 royals and before Prince Charles and the Cambridges at the event last month. According to royal expert Camilla Tomini, the move raised eyebrows behind palace walls as they could have walked with Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie who they sat with. Writing in The Telegraph, Ms. Tomini said, The Telegraph has also learned that the Sussex decision to take a solo walk down the lengthy aisle of St. Paul's Cathedral for the service of Thanksgiving on June 3 raised eyebrows behind palace walls, not least when they could have walked with Beatrice, Eugenie and their husbands, who were seated next to them in the pews. 924 Harry and Andrew's Councillor of State Rolls blasted the prospect of seeing Prince Harry and Prince Andrew drafted to carry out duties in lieu of the Queen's absence has been described as a ludicrous state of affairs by a royal author. Leading royal biographer Andrew Morton expressed his surprise at seeing the Dukes of York and Sussex retaining the position of councillors of state despite no longer being full-time working royal. The author of the newly released biography The Queen told Co.uk, The one thing I am very surprised about is that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, as non-working royals, not allowed on the balcony for the Queen's Jubilee, are still councillors of state. 910 Princess Anne is accidental trendsetter Princess Anne is one of the busiest members of the royal family and whenever she steps out for a royal engagement she looks impeccable. Fashion expert Miranda Holder said, the Princess Royal has an unusual relationship to fashion, she certainly has never paid any attention to trends, and in later life has adopted a more frugal approach to her wardrobe than other members of the royal family. She often re-wears old pieces time and time again, but it's through this irreverence that she has become an unexpected style icon. 859 William unhappy Meghan using royal title in US row Prince William is unhappy at Meghan Markle still using her royal title as she voiced her dissent to the revocation of Roe vs Wade in the United States, a royal commentator claimed. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Neil Sean said, this has really become a big hot potato. It all really stems from the fact the one-time royal Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex recently gave an interview to Gloria Steinem for a glossy magazine. It's all about the Roe v. Wade debate, but, as ever, once an associated member of the British monarchy comes forward and starts getting into that political arena, it can become damaging. According to a very good source, and as ever we have to say allegedly, Prince William is unhappy once again at having to work through the mire of what these particular associations mean. 855 Meghan and Harry insist the crown stop before Megsy Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have insisted Netflix stop the story of their hit show The Crown before it covers Megsy, royal expert Angela Levin has claimed. But she implied the streaming giant has other plans, saying it is going to try and get its pint of blood if offered a lot of money. Ms. Levin told Talk Radio the streaming giant will delve in and get a lot of information that will absolutely decry the royal family.